I got, I got, I got loyalty, got royalty. You can hide your lion eyes and your smile in the thin blue sky. good way of getting at them to sort of separate individual parts of an identity. I can talk about my sexuality, but my experience with that is almost completely coupled with where I grew up, who my parents had around or I was around in school or just outside of that in the town. I realized that to some extent someone having specific solid labels for them to identify with are useful, but I don't think they're easily ranked. I feel that culture is more important to me because that's the main part of how I grew up. I would say first and foremost the fact that um, I'm a transgender man, um, and so the fact that that's a part of my male identity I think adds a lot to just sort of the way that I carry myself through the world, um, and I think I'd be a very different person if that wasn't a part of my personal experience. Personally, I think I eat my own country's food to express my own identity because I, I ate at home for my past 18 years. So <laughs> it's really hard to um, adapt to the new food or I mean really like my own country's food. Mm -hmm. Music, um, talking friends. I express my identity through my clothes and definitely through the music I listen to and a lot through the sports I play. I like would consider like part of my identity being like athletic and like I also like to go camping and like be in the outdoors so I have like just like clothes that I wear to class and then I have like wear a lot of clothes that I wear when I'm active and then I also have like clothes that I wear when I like go hiking or camping and stuff. Clothing is part of my way to make my body like my own personal items. And uh, that's part of the reason I, I tried to into the world, I guess. Um, but first and foremost, the way I dress is for me and for no one else, even though you know, I appreciate when people will like how I dress. Um. I think clothing and fashion is like pretty essential and like integral to expressing like it's a self-expression and to like performing identity but also just for like your own conception of your identity it allows me to have like self-confidence and like kind of like assuage a lot of my own insecurities because if i'm wearing something that like reflects my interest or my identity then like i feel comfortable um kind of like entering the world in that way like it isn't about other people it's only about myself I like looking good, but it's more of a personal thing than what other people would think about me. I you know I take time to like I don't know dress in the morning, but that's just because like a routine, you know. Yeah, it's, it's something that like yeah that I need. <laughs> it's part of me already. Yeah. Your mentality, like outlook on the world, changes just from like wearing the right thing. Yeah. And honestly, when I go out of my room in the morning and I'm not wearing like and something yeah. isn't right about my unstable. outfit, yeah. yeah, like I can feel it and. It's just, yeah, I could like even be late to my first like yeah. Yeah, because, I'm the same way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and each like got, like thing that I own, like part of my clothing or whatever, usually has like a story behind it or like a meaning. Like sometimes I wear very vibrant like colored like clothing or sometimes I would wear all black. And <laughs> not necessarily a bad day, but just like, I don't know, there's something like, something dark that I'm like celebrating, but in a good way, you know. I don't really care like so much about the name brand. I do like shop at like a couple or a handful of stores that I go to like on a more regular occasion, but it's more just because I like the clothes that they have, not so much like mm -hmm. the name brand of the store. Um, personally, I don't think brand names are important. I feel like clothing is just cloth, and the cloth that you pick is your choice. And to have a brand attached to it doesn't give it uh, any more. I guess 
kind of power than other ones. Personally, like labels do not matter when it comes to growth. If I do not tend to like associate clothing and like you know personality slash like label people. Yeah, I do feel like labels like not even just with fashion but like in general like they're important for like categorizing. But personally, I like it's. I think it's like better to like move towards like rejecting labels. People care way too much about what other people think about them. And yeah. Like, yeah, I'm pursuing. Yeah. 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 I never care. I'm <laughs> yeah. sorry. Yeah. The Eagles and uh, ACDC, because uh, my father loves Eagles, and like I think when I was born, I started listening to the Eagles song, and like old uh, love song is really capturing my heart. ACDC rock song, like when you are down or you get a bad grade, you listen to it and it cheers you. There's just one Sudanese artist. Uh, his name is Ibrahim Al Kashif. Uh, it's a very uh, a famous Sudanese artist who was a pioneer of the pop genre during the 50s to 60s in Sudan. And he um, had this one song called I Am Sudanese, I Am African, right? And that is a very powerful song about heritage, about the Sudanese identity. Mm -hmm. And not only for me personally, but also for a, a lot of Sudanese people. Uh, people sing it, especially right now, people are very patriotic with like, we had a revolution stuff, but also like, during Independence Day, we have that song, so that song is very, very important. Mm. And also a second song, which people would be probably more familiar with, is um, DNA by Kendrick Lamar. So basically that song is really powerful, right? It's really in your face. But, like I'm not African American, right? Like the heart of the song is still, it still really resonates with me. It's really in your face. It's like very unapologetic of who you are and what your heritage is and what your identity is.